Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is David, and today we're gonna open some more packages. And later you guys will see the rest of my uh, my screen. All right, so I know what this is. This is actually the paint for my wife's car. Um, it came in yesterday, literally I bought this about a week and a half ago. They didn't even ship it until two days ago. This is from a company called Paint Express. I have no idea. That was the only person I could find suede white. So, uh, I'm not really sure what the thing. It's Express Paint. Apparently, it's supposed to be exactly the same, and if it's not, I'll make sure I let them know. Uh, let's do this one here. This one here, I know what it is, only because I have to steal the package. I opened it up, and I used it to return some. So these are the uh, three 120 fans that I bought for my all-in-one the, the the system comes with the, the radiator comes with three 120s and I believe that it blows air over the fins so this is actually gonna help pull the air through the fins so it has more like aggressive cooling to it so what I did was and I didn't buy RGB because I'm not an RGB person um, I bought the white one and I bought Antec because I, I like the specs and I also like the reviews that were on it. And this is a pretty good company. I mean, I've been, I've, I've bought Antec stuff for years. I mean, I know they're not as big as they used to. They still, uh, they still got a reputation to live by. So my first computer case was by Antec. I paid, <clears throat> I paid like $90 for that case. I remember when I bought it and I found it at the computer store near my hometown. I was so excited because Alienware used the same freaking case for like the alien stuff before they were bought out by Dell. And I remember being so excited about it. Like I was like freaking out, man. So this cost me, uh, I think it was $16. But like I said, I mean, I bought, I could have got the aftermarket one, but I decided to buy the name brand just because I, I prefer to have something like this that's not as loud. So as you can see here around this, this is where the LEDs are actually embedded. So when it's spinning, it, you're gonna have the, uh, the glow but it's not gonna light up the fans. I purposely did not buy white fans. I just bought the black ones because I don't like the white fan the way it looks. I, I prefer black. And this will be the illuminated part. So it comes with the anti-vibration parts also right here. So when you put it up against, you're not gonna have to worry about it vibrating anything. And it's on both sides. What the hell is this? All right, let's see what this one is. I don't remember what this is. Oh yeah, it's more spray paint. I used two of these cans to spray paint my, my mount, my custom mount for my computer. I bought two more. They also were on sale. Like I said, they were like 50 cents cheaper than Walmart, so. And I don't have to go to Walmart and torture myself. But honest to God, this is probably, I've been using the Walmart brand flat paint for over 20 years. Like well over, probably 26, 27 years. And I was, I always loved the way that flat paint looked. And it was the Walmart brand, I think it was like Color Place or something like that. A dollar, okay? And I loved that paint. I painted every single thing with that. I mean, they had all the colors and then they just dropped it and went straight to like uh, gloss white and they went to gloss black and that's it. All the other colors are gone. But honestly, once I started buying this one, dude, this is my favorite black right here. I mean, it, it bonds to plastic, bonds to wood, bonds to metal and more. I mean, this is by far my favorite. I recommend you guys checking that out. If you do a lot of spray paint like me, like I literally go through about maybe 10, 10 cans a year of flat spray paint. This is by far the best looking black I've ever seen. Like so professional finish. All right, so here's this one. This one, I know what it is. Anybody who's been watching my, my videos from the start, or from the beginning um, when I started doing my room over. You guys will remember that I did say once that um, I'm a huge fan of Supernatural. If you guys know that the show is coming down to its final season. This one's season 14. But this is gonna be a massive hit to like, this, is, this has been a big part of my life, huge. Um, I, I think I paid, oh yeah, I paid $13 for this brand new. Um, let's see this one, yeah. I recommend checking out that show. Um, it is a little goofy. The, the relationship between the two brothers, I don't know if it's because I, I have a personal bond to that because I wish I was closer with my brothers, I really do. I wish I was closer to my brothers. It's just, I just, I wish I was. I mean, if there was a couple things that could change in my life, that'd be one of them. There isn't many things I would change, but there is a few things that I would. Just maybe enough 
three fingers maybe. I definitely don't regret leaving my other job. <laughs> that is definitely not on my list. Everything is just so much clearer. Like once I left, my eyes like literally, I felt like I just peel the layer off my eyes and I can just see so much better. Everything just seems so much different once I left there. All right, so if you guys remember my video, um, a couple of videos back, I bought an, an Adidas coat and the Adidas coat was nice. eBay always has sales on Adidas stuff. This one is gray, not black, but now that I'm looking at it, it is a strange gray. Um, they had a sale, so I only paid $20 for this, but I know my daughter will definitely take it. I mean, if you can see, though, this is the MSRP, and I know that's just a pile of crap, but if you can see the price on this is 50 bucks, which is absolutely ridiculous, but they most likely would use this as a starting point and knock off like 10 bucks, you know what I mean? Like 10% off or 15% off and it'd still be overpriced. But for the most part, um, on eBay is the best way. If you guys don't, if you guys are, like, like buying Adidas stuff, like I buy a lot of Adidas because it's so cheap on eBay, like you could never find those types of prices at a, at a retail store. Absolutely not. All right, so this one is my special one. As you can figure, I saved this one for last because this one is super rad. This one I bought because I'm planning on doing something strange and very custom. This, my friends, is something special. Alright, what this is, is a double din for the PC. It's two five and a quarters a reservoir. So what you do is, it has a pump built into it, it has an in and out obviously power uh, a little window here so you can actually see what's going on in there so what I was thinking about doing is actually cutting the AIO running it through here running it through here and then running it back keeping both motors and both pumps the pump on the CPU and the pump also on this to give it a little extra flowing power so that's what what my idea is right now I'm gonna have to come up with some way to I think with two pumps it's gonna be really good it's really gonna be like it's gonna be awesome, actually. So what I was thinking about doing, so I can use these arms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this completely across because this gets in the way on both of them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take the measurement on, uh, on this, put some tape across, get the angle grinder and start cutting this up. So that's that stain here for now until the other one comes in. Once the clamp comes in, removing that clamp and putting the other one on, tightening it up. So it'll be a consistent look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the screen off of the base. I like the way it looks. It might be overkill. Probably is because you know it is me, so it most likely is overkill. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, and I think it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I want to show you guys the uh, final mount, the completion. Uh, all that I have left to do now. <coughs> There's a few little tweaks on the screen uh, clarity and some cable management on that part, but it is complete, and you guys can check it out now. So as you can see, it is extremely functional. Now when I'm editing, I can keep my emails up. Instagram, so I know like who's liking, who's subscribing, who's following, things like that. I can always keep those things up. So what I ended up doing, since it's glass table, it's very hard to work with something like this when you need to mount such a heavy piece. So the best thing for me to do is I had to use C-clamps to keep that uh, on the desk. So what I did was I, I created mounts for the, the, the giant pole and I created the exact same piece that goes underneath it. So now it's like a sandwiched 
And the thing is very secure. I, I have no, I know it's not gonna fall on me, so I'm not concerned about that. Um, I gotta do some tweaking on the brightness on the screen. I won't be using that for gaming, it's just for information only. I'm gonna start leaving some information on my Instagram, asking you guys if you had any suggestions of what you guys would like to see with uh, future videos, what you guys like to see me work on. If you guys have any questions, you just leave me the uh, responses. Uh, that's gonna conclude today's episode. Uh, I'm gonna stop putting together my computer. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna say thank you to all of you. I'm already talking too much. We're right now we're at 1060 subscribers, and I'm saying thank you to everybody once again, like I always do. Um, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Thank you so much. Don't forget to be kind to each other. Oh,